Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, that was a weird break, but I'm back. Um, today we're going to be going over the GV update that happened while I was gone. Um, there's six new cars, 15 new cars including the selectable trims, but I'm going to be going over the uh, six main cars. So let's get right into it. First we have the 2021 Sentinel Sailor. And, uh, this thing's actually really well done. I like this model a lot. Um, the taillight's a little blurry, but that's fine, honestly. Right, let's get the start up. Oh, well, that's an interesting chime. I've never actually heard that chime before. Also, uh, Greenville has cruise control now. Just so you know, guys, um, mobile cannot do cruise control, and I do not believe Xbox can do cruise control. But if you had it, if you have an Xbox, please try. Let's get into how this thing sounds. It actually has a rev limiter of 5k, like 5.1k, and yeah. Let's get into the speed test. And it was a sneak at a 9 speed with a top speed of 126 miles an hour. Let's get to the braking test. Jeez, so not the best brakes. But yeah, it's not too bad. Anyways, let's get on to the next car. The next car that was added was the 2021 Honda Passport. And uh, I'm actually not a fan of the Passport, but it's pretty nice, honestly. It's basically like a longer version of the Pilot. I don't really know. I don't really know another way how to describe it. Right, let's get into the startup. Uh, typical GV startup, uh, basically how it is on most base model cars, even though this is a sport trim. That's gonna do how this sounds. Sounds the exact same as the other one, so that's interesting. Alright, let's get into the speed test. So far with the short gears, it's making this thing seem very fast, but it's actually a little bit slow. It's not too bad though, it's actually one of the more regular speed SUVs, it's better than the uh, Encore I'd say. Anyways, it has a top speed of 132 miles an hour with it. Anyways, it's a 9 speed with a top speed of 132 miles an hour. While we're in here, I'll actually test the cruise control. So let's go 55, and then I believe you press this button once, and bam, it keeps you at that speed. You can click this once to go up a mile an hour, so now it changes to 55 and it says that speed. You can do 56. That actually bumped it up to 60, so it actually goes by 5. So I can turn it down a little bit. Like that. Anyways, I might try to do a challenge video on GVRP sometime. Maybe, like, just relying on cruise control. Next car was added was the 2021 Sumo Ota. And, uh, this thing, uh, looks decent, I guess. The taillights kind of look blacked out, which I like. Let's get into the startup. This thing actually has decent suspension too. Let's get into how it sounds. Another typical GV sound. Not too bad though. Let's get into the speed test. Wow, this thing is slow. Oh my gosh. Uh, there's 60. Was that like 15 seconds? My lord. So, anyways, this is an eight speed with a top speed of 104 miles an hour. Just the braking. Thankfully, decent. We almost actually ran off the road there. Next car was added was the 2013 Wolfsburg Charge. And this is a Volkswagen, if you didn't know. It looks pretty nice. Um, also, I forgot to mention in the last update, they added back shift to sprint. So, yeah, that's nice. Let's get into how this sounds. Typical GV startup yet again. Actually has a more unique sound. Our line's at about 6k. Let's get into the speed test. Actually, I'm going to do launch control. Oh. Yeah, so this thing's a little, actually a lot quicker than the last car we tested, so it's pretty good with launch control. Alright, so it's a 6 speed with a top speed of 110 miles an hour. There's the braking test. Yeah, the braking overall is really good on the front wheel drive cars, so that's a plus. 
The next car is the 2013 Falcon Ambulance, and this car was already in the game, but I believe they added the new Fox Mountain Ambulance trim. So yeah, it's gonna know how it sounds. Sounds pretty decent. Here are the lights. Sirens. Let's get into the speed test real quick. Things pretty fast for an ambulance, and uh, yeah, it's a six speed, and we got a top speed of 111, 112 miles an hour. It's a braking test. This thing is extremely stiff. Wow. The final car or truck that was added was the 1998 Ford F-150, and now you might be wondering, why am I going over this? This is already in the game. Well, actually, uh, before this update, there was only the step side. And uh, they added this version now, so that's nice. Let's get into the startup. Typical GV startup, but has a unique chime. Let's hear how it sounds. Sounds exactly like the ambulance. So. Anyways, let's get into speed test real quick. This guy has nice suspension, wow. So this thing's faster than the white car we tested earlier, which is very surprising. It's a four speed, and we got a top speed of 105 miles an hour on the Mangri Mobile. Here's the braking test. Wow. Very impressive brakes. Jeez. Anyways, the new XLT extended cab version of the 1998 Falcon Advance is $5,000 and they got the new XLT alternative wheels on it. The 2013 Falcon Global Ambulance Fox Mountain Edition is $35,000 and they have no new rims with it. The 2013 Wolfsburg Charge comes in a few trims. We got S for $18,000 and the S rims. We got SE for $9,500 and the SE rims. And we got the SEL for $11,200 and the SEL rims. And we got the GT for $17,500 and the GT rims. We also got the hybrid for $10,000 with the Aeros rims. Comes in night blue metallic, ocean blue metallic, salsa red, black, apple red metallic, uh, nice one Hunter, tungsten silver metallic, silver metallic, platinum gray metallic, candy white, the 2021 Sumo Ota comes in a few trims. We got the base model for $22,745 and the base model wheels. The Torian XT for $36,895 and the Torian wheels. And the Sport for $26,945 and the Sport wheels. Comes in ice silver metallic, magnetite gray metallic, crystal black silica, tungsten metallic, crimson red pearl, crystal white pearl, and Abyss Blue Pearl. The 2021 Ellison Permit comes in a few trims. We got Sport for $32,590 with the five split spoke black rims. Elite for $44,552 with the five spoke black rims. And yeah, we got Crystal Black Pearl, Modern Steel Metallic, Deep Scarlet Pearl, Black Copper Pearl, Platinum White Pearl, Obsidian Blue Pearl, and Lunar Silver Metallic. 2021 Sentinel Sailor, we got the Standard Edition for $52,840, Grand Version for $70,640, and the Black Deluxe for $82,185 with the Black Deluxe wheel. Comes in Red Carpet Metallic, Infinite Black Metallic, Blue Diamond Metallic, Silver Radiance Metallic, M Magnetic Gray Metallic, Pristine White Metallic, Ceramic Pearl Metallic, Crystal Copper Metallic, Burgundy Velvet Clear Coat, and Ice Matcha Metallic. Anyways, that's probably going to be in this video here. Sorry it was such a short one, but I don't really have that much time to make a video tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.